Flavor family, what is up? Wednesday night in Chicago, Art and I coming at you live from the kitchen for kind of like a last minute live stream. We literally, you guys, just finished at Whole Foods maybe 45 minutes ago. We were uh, filming all afternoon. We went to Walmart, we went to Whole Foods, we did the canned food review, and drum roll please, the long awaited protein powder review video is done. And you know what, I made you wait for it, but it's gonna be worth it. And then we're like, yo, should we do a live stream? It was 5.45 Chicago time. I scheduled it, we got home, we got it all set up. So I hope everyone got the push notification. Raise your hand if you got a push notification because Art didn't get one. That made me a little nervous. I got one now that you're live. Oh, oh now that I'm live, Does okay. That count? I guess it counts, yeah, that'd be nice. Um, to get a little advanced warning, YouTube. But um, also let us know if you can hear me well. So can you hear me and then? Can you hear me? That was That's the question. <laughs> and then how's the picture look? How does everything look? Because it's a lovely day in Chicago. It's already dark outside, which tells me the cold weather is creeping its way in, but that's not gonna stop us from making a quick and easy dinner. Emphasis on quick. We are gonna do a crispy skin salmon with a kale salad that I'm crowdsourcing. You're gonna basically tell me how to make it. I'm gonna tell you some rough ingredients I have. Maybe Rose, Rose, you wanna come and join Daddy for a little bit maybe? Okay, sounds good. And um, in the oven I have some acorn squash and some other funky squash, I don't even know what it's called. Roasting with a maple syrup, smoked paprika, and cayenne glaze. We did that last week, Desi's been obsessed with it. So. Everything, we love art, Fire by Faith yeah, loves love art. Too. Uh, yeah, I just got a notification, sounds good. So we got 202 people. Vintage Sin got your cookbook this week. Vintage Sin, that's what I love to hear. It's not in the background, but it normally is. Thank you so much. Hey, if you bought the cookbook, thank you so much. 625 star reviews on Amazon, mad love, and it's coming to select Costco's in November. I just got the store list, Chicago's one. A lot of stores in Oregon and, and Washington. Um, if you bought the book on Amazon, please take a minute to leave a review. And if you'd be so kind after that, leave a video review. Like show the book and be like, oh my God, the photos are beautiful or whatever. Bobby's so handsome, he's so funny. Whatever you want, you know what I mean? Um, and leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We love to see all around the world, statues are crumbling for me and we love to see where you're watching from. What's up Raylan, hello. Oh, what's right baby here, we got, yep. You just purchased salmon with the skin on. Perfect timing, I love it. We have that probably once a week because it's so darn tasty. Are there any kosher collagen products not made with meat or chicken? Yes, Sandy, my lovely fellow Jew. Made with marine fish. Look for marine collagens. Uh, Vital Protein sells that at Whole Foods or you can look online. Uh, a brand called Truvani also has that, which is really nice too. We're always gonna, there's always a will, there's a way, my friend. We got North Carolina, we got Jersey, South, I wanna come to Charleston, South Carolina, Janet. I hear great things, and I hear the food scene there is next level. Uh, let's see here, Myrtle Beach, Chicago, Chicago Nash, Paul, Vegas. Tennessee. All right, guys, so keep sharing the video. Let's get started. The key to making crispy skin salmon, if you haven't heard me say it a 100 times in the past, is this, and for my friend who just bought it. After you get it home, store it skin side up in the fridge, right? Do it for 30 minutes to an hour, no more. Because Art, explain to people what happens in the fridge that makes the skin really crispy. It dries it out. That was very quick. I was not expecting that quick of an answer. <laughs> Moisture's not your friend if you want crispy skin salmon and the refrigerator will dry the Thank you, Arthur. I'm confused that you put plastic wrap on it. Isn't that gonna keep the moisture in? Oh uh, no, the plastic wrap starts on the bottom fleshy part. The skin side is up. Okay. Yeah, skin side up. Uh, and it dries it out. See? Wasn't on top of it? No, 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 no. I Plastic wrap is, it's here, that's why. It looks like it, it's on oh, the bottom. Oh yeah, for my, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah so yeah, I wanna yeah, keep yeah, that yeah. plate clean. So that is the key, you guys. And then that way when it goes into a hot non-stick or cast iron pan, crispy salmon skin chicharrone for the win. That's what I'm talking about. It's a mom style gel. So in the meantime, we have to make a kale salad. I got one bunch of organic lacinato kale. Kale's kinda confusing, and I don't know why they do this, because this kale here is called black kale, it's called dinosaur kale, it's called lacinato. But Art, take a look. This is why I love it, you guys. It's not hard and really curly, it's soft and pliable. If you buy green curly, it's too tough. This is soft, this is a softer, more supple side of kale. Have you heard of massaging kale? Mas yeah, yeah, absolutely. I usually massage it after I chop it. So what I wanna do first is wash it. And then, guys, look at the ingredients I have for a salad. Tell me what else I should add. Tell me what kind of dressing you want. 
I have mayonnaise, I have vinegar, I have oils. I'm thinking stuff like this. Let's throw some nuts in there. Let's throw raisins in there. But this is officially <clears throat> a crowd sourced salad. You guys choose and I just, and you decide and I just make it, right? I am just a vehicle for your voice. I think we could get funky a little bit with the uh, dressing, maybe do creamy and vinaigrette, oh, no. but whatever you want, right? <laughs> we saw, Ryan, we saw a bunch of Waldos at Walmart today. We go to Walmart in the afternoon because restocking hours in the morning, the dudes were still restocking. So you know what we did? The first half of the video was normal. Then we switched to undercover brother style B-roll where Art goes with the camera like this, just shows you the product and I do voiceover. It's not ideal, but we got the video done. we took it beyond that actually. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, what did I do, Art? Bobby started like doing his normal Instagram type stuff. I did. With the YouTube type stuff. I did because, hello, my Oh, love. somebody's here. Because the manager asked us what we were doing. And so I said, I'm just taking pictures of the products. Hello, my love. Everyone, wave a beautiful hello to Rose Honey. Look who's back. But she is now four months and a week and a half old. On Friday, she tipped the scales at 16 pounds, 10 ounces. She's back to sleeping well. Praise baby Jesus, praise baby Jesus for that. And she's so cute. Her cheeks are getting so squishable and we love her. We just love her so much, right? There you go, Ryan. So Rose, why don't you join me here and help me make a salad and we'll hang out with the Flav City family. How does that sound, my love? You know you love the camera just as much as dear old daddy. You guys look at her onesie, by the way. This is so appropriate because she's literally fed by milk 24 seven. Desi's milk, of course. And now she has the matching onesie. Right, my love? She should also get one that says milk. <laughs> I don't think anyone makes one. Okay, my love. Like that. Okay, so let's start chopping some kale, my dear. Guys, look at these cheeks. I can't get enough of kissing those. And what I love to do is just look at her and she's so easy to make smile. Hey, Rose. Rose, look at me for a second. Huh? Who wants to smile? Who wants to smile? Can you see? Huh? See all friends out there? It's fun, right? She loves the camera. Okay, let's get chopping some kale. And I could have done this ahead, but to be honest, I didn't have any time. In case you are just joining us, we got a little late start. So we have 400 people on the stream. I think we had a slow start to this because Art and I literally programmed this video, my love, about 40 minutes ago. So you didn't get the normal push notification. Busy, busy day. We were at Whole Foods and Target and uh, Walmart. We did two videos today, my friends. We did a protein powder review video and a canned food review. By the way, this is a great tool. It's called the Kale Stripper. You match up the end piece here with the hole, and then you rip it through. Rip it real good. And it takes the leaf off the stem. I mean, you don't need to do it, but we eat so much kale here, it's kind of fun. If you look it up on Amazon, it's called the Chefin, C-H-E-F apostrophe N, kale stripper. So I'm really excited on Saturday for the protein review video. Because Rose, so many people are asking about protein powders. And it took me a long time to do research, but we got it down. We broke it down to the best whey protein powders, the best plant-based, and the best collagen. You're gonna love the video because there's so much stuff out there that's 95% good, Rose, and then the other 5% just isn't good in the form of usually natural flavorings. But if you go to the cheaper protein powders like the Muscle Milks, Splenda, Sucralose, Carrageenan, Yeast Extract, I was mortified. You believe that? They're putting that junk in that protein powder Never, Rose. You would never, ever have that, my love. So, give, are, are we paying attention to ideas? I'm crowdsourcing ideas for my kale salad. Let me know what goes in there. And more importantly, let me know about the dressing. I'm thinking like a creamy mayonnaise dressing, but maybe we can make it funky with like vinaigrette meets uh, creamy mayonnaise. So Natalia just said, well, first of all, originals or vintage sin earlier said mayo, yuck. So you might need to change her mind. Well, I love, you make some good I mayo love mayonnaise. Natalia just said, umami flavor dressing with mayo, soy, sauce, spice. Okay, great call, Natalia. I'm gonna show you, I always do umami boosters, but not moving it towards Asian land. Like I bring in a little bit of tamari and sesame, but then I disguise it with like citrus and honey or whatever, and you don't know it's there, but you get that flavor booster. Uh, Nada Alanzor says uh, tahini dressing. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. We could actually do a tahini mayo, but I think I'm low on tahini. Liz says Rose is a lovely name. 
She's a lovely person too. Whoever my friend is from South Carolina, Charleston, this guy's a legend down there. This name Garlic this is and shredded onion, fennel with an orange dressing. I don't have any fennel, but that would be lovely. This is Middleton. Middleton knives are a legend down in South Carolina. This was gifted to me and I like it a lot. So take your kale, show it who's boss, rough it up, and then run your knife through it. Rough it up, Chris. Desi, my dear, loves a finely chopped salad. So that's how we're gonna do it. Honey she mustard dressing. Ooh. Pecans in the salad. Oh, pecans, yeah, sounds apple. great. Somebody said apple. Apples, ooh, you know what? Done. Apples and pecans is like the epitome of fall. I've never made a honey mustard. I Kathy, might do that. Kathy W says uh, ACV plus avocado oil. Yeah, I always do that. You know what? Whoever said honey mustard, I love it. The Nancy. Other people are seconding that. All right, let's do honey mustard. The thing is, I've never made it, so you guys have to dictate when it when it comes time how to make it. So I'm thinking honey. I'm thinking mustard. Let's use like stone ground mustard though. That has the uh, mustard seeds still in it. How about rose? Honey mustard. <laughs> how about rose? Some. We'll need some vinegar. So apple cider vinegar. I want to do mayonnaise too to make it really creamy. Oh, you know what? Let's do maple syrup in there too. Oh my God, this is going to be a fall kale crunch salad with maple honey mustard dressing and pecans and apples. Hey yo, don't you love when you crowdsource things? The next thing you know, it's like we could invent the best salad that anyone's seen this fall. I never would have thought about that without you. I'd like to dedicate this award to my family. My friends and Lord baby, Jesus Christ. That's what uh, I like. Honey mustard was a popular choice. All right. Somebody says, yes, do honey mustard because I want to learn how. Hey, we're going to learn together because I've never made it. But you know what? It'll be easy. Once you understand flavors in the kitchen, Rose, you can understand how to put them together. I, I kind of describe it, Rose, as being Neo in the Matrix. You don't know who that is, but they do. Once you understand cooking and flavors, you can be like, okay, I can make this flavor work with that. That texture work with that. Next thing you know, you're dodging bullets and you're jumping over buildings. That's what I'm talking about, Rose Honey. Nada also says you should use Austin Honey. Ooh, you know what? I do love, I've been using it on Flav City Instagram all week. This one, right? That our buddy Chris told us about. That's raw Austin Honey. But I want to keep this more autumnal. One of my favorite words, autumnal. <laughs> Okay, Martha Stewart. And do uh, maple syrup. I think maple's a little more appropriate for this application. Oh, Nonya Business says, <laughs> Nonya Business. No, oh, that's a good name. I love that. <laughs> good one. Uh, says, add crisp bacon to the salad. Okay, another great idea. I just don't feel like dirtying another pan. Otherwise, I would. Otherwise, I would. It's a great idea. And I love that name because sometimes when people ask me, too much information, like what am I doing? I Char say- Char Troyer in the house of the $24.99 Super Chat Honey Mustard sounds perfect. Char Troyer, longtime Flav City fan from Michiana, Michigan. Thank you Hitting so us up with a Super Chat. Char, you're an amazing supporter of everything we do. Super Chat, you guys, such a great way to support the channel. Have your comment be seen, and we thank you. Arigato gozaimashita, Char Troyer. Okay, also going in there, I've got a myriad of vegetables here. So you know what I love to do, you guys? Sometimes you can buy just celery hearts. So the outer celery is really lovely, right? But this, the heart of the celery, what does Adam Duritz say in the Counting Crows song? It's the heart that matters most, right? I don't know the song. Yes, you do. Uh, Omaha, somewhere in middle America. Oh, yeah. So yeah. this is not only sweet and tender, but the leaves, you guys. Oh, the leaves are delicious. So I'll save the rest for later. We'll wash it, smell this rose. It smells crisp like grass. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? So you guys, if you're just joining, share. We got 500 people. Not bad considering we just scheduled this video literally 30 minutes ago. Take the link from this video, share it over to your Instagram wall and say, yo, Bobby, Rose, and Art are hanging out making a paleo keto-ish dinner. Share it over to your Facebook wall and be like, you're missing out if you're doing something else on Wednesday, AKA hump day. Waldo Wednesday. Waldo Wednesday is Art's new name for it. So we went to Walmart. We filmed the canned food review. We talked about healthy canned items and what to avoid. We talked about canned beans and how they're actually good for you because they're pressure cooked so it removes the lectins. We talked about tomatoes and San Marzano tomatoes. We talked all about good soups, bad soups like Progresso and Amy's. Amy's is best in class. We also talked about there's a new Campbell soup or newish, it's a sipping soup. I think it's called yum, something yum. And it actually was pretty clean, you guys. 
we talked about the fact that if you want to eat tuna, tuna fish, a little tuna fish sandwich, young lady, you want to get a low mercury tuna. So how do you know which ones are the low mercury? It's very easy. You stay away from albacore tuna and you buy light or chunk light. Chunk light is smaller fishes that are tuna. The smaller the fish, the less mercury. And that's what chunk light is. Also, you guys should really be eating sardines, wild cut sardines packed in olive oil. Talk about good omega-3 fatty acids. We talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about coconut milk. So we got you covered with that. So if you're excited for the canned food review, this weekend, I wanna see people get excited. I wanna see the likes go from four to 50 right now. Cause if you're not excited about that, you're gonna be excited about the four video. Likes. Oh, I'm showing four, is there more? There's 72. I wanna see them go to hundred. I'm showing four. I'm gonna refresh the page then. Because the video, that'll be Sunday's video I think. But Saturday's video is gonna be the long awaited protein review video. It took me a long time to make this you guys because I fell down the rabbit hole of research. And there's so much information out there. There's so many products when it comes to the actual protein powder. I wanted to get it right. And I think Art and I, I think we nailed it today, Art. What do you think? I think so. We talked about plant-based protein powders. We talked about whey protein powder, why you want to buy organic, grass-fed if you can, ingredients to look out for. We talked about collagen. We really, really hit it on the head. Now look, Art, I refreshed my browser and I can't even see comments now. Come on, Somebody YouTube. told me to zoom in on Rose. That's why I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, I just juiced that. No, you so, juiced my <laughs> I get you. Hand. So a little bit of Kalamata olives. I don't typically buy the pitted Kalamata olives because as soon as you pit something, the flavor goes way down. So I know it's a little bit of a pain in the tuchus, but it's worth it. I do have a pit or two. Look, I can't get my comments up there. That's ridiculous. So that's what's coming on this weekend. I'm really excited. And then we actually have to film tomorrow too because, and maybe Friday, because next week I'm going to LA on Tuesday until the weekend because I'm collaborating with Thomas DeLauer for a couple of videos and I've got a little more work to do there. So unfortunately I have to leave my sweet little peepee. -pee. I have to leave you behind. I'm going to miss you so much for a couple of days. You know that? I'm going to miss you. So we have to get the work done, but you're going to love these videos this week. And I think tomorrow we might talk about the dirty, the dirty dozen, organic foods to buy and the ones to avoid, and what you can buy conventional. And maybe we'll do like an Aldi's review or a Costco or something. Okay. If you have not done so, I can't see comments. Let me refresh here. I'm going to close this. What's going on with your computer, man? If you cannot see, or no, if you can, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for dinner tonight, right? And share the stream. We want our friends and family from all over to join the party. This is not working. I gotta open a new browser. Go to videos, live, here we go. We have 561 people. Okay, right Chrome. Here. Chrome works, baby, that's what I like to see. Firefox, <laughs> Chrome, yeah. We got Arizona, we got an Alabama slammer here. We got no Maggie anchovies and the sardines are very good. Very good for you. Uh, let's see here, Orlando, Virginia, Maryland, we got broccoli salad for dinner in Cincinnati from Sexy Sky Dow. That sounds good. Uh, thank you, Robert. Yeah, the, uh, the collab with Thomas is gonna be great. So let's get, should we do carrots in the salad? Yeah, why not? It's good for the old eyes. So we've already crowdsourced the fact that we're doing a honey mustard dressing. I've actually never made honey mustard dressing before, but I think we, oh, excuse me, Rose, we kind of figured it out. Does everyone have one of those drawers in their kitchen where it just has too much stuff in there? This has become one of them. <laughs> Do I really need, I have like four of these, Rose. Do I need four Italian olive wood spoons and spatches? I don't think so, my love, right? You cutie. So the honey mustard dressing is gonna be great. And then I'm saving the, uh, salmon for the end because the salmon right now is air drying in the fridge skin side up because we talked earlier about how you really want to dry the skin out and make it nice and dry so it gets crispy in the pan. So let's just take one carrot here. I actually haven't made a kale salad in a while. I used to eat this for dinner every night or for lunch every day and I kind of fell off the bandwagon. I started using that kale couscous. 
cruciferous, not cruciferous, mix from Trader Joe's, right? And I love kale. I know it's a hipster ingredient and this and that, but it's high in vitamin A and K. And like I said, we're using dinosaur kale. We're not using crunchy green kale. What about vitamin R? Vitamin R, I think that's only on The Simpsons, right? Only in milk. Yes, only in milk. The Simpsons milk. You don't even know what we're talking about, about, do you? Can we dry it in the freezer if we have less time? Dry what? Oh, Salmon. no. Can't do it. I mean, what? 30 minutes? I think we have 30 minutes. Yes. This is a black you, turnip. Kathy, I think my jokes are dumb, but thank you. Say again? Kathy says I'm hilarious. I'm like, well, I think my jokes are dumb, but thank <laughs> you. Dusty asked me to get this. It's a black turnip. And it has a really interesting flavor. Ooh, you got a super chat from Sandy Hill, $1.99. Oh, thank, thank you, Sandy. Work. Love you guys. Thank Love you for you the too. super Thanks chat. Thank you so much. What's the health benefit of the black turnip again, Ben? Mm, digestive enzymes in here. Oh, very good for detoxing your body. Um, and I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be fancy and I'll use my hand mandolin on this and on the apple. Because anytime you're building a salad, you gotta think about texture. Because Art and I always say about crunch. What do we say, Art? If you're not in Team Crunch, you're not in our bunch. Exactly. Right? Crunch is what makes the world go around. So he said, how can you cook turnips? How do you, how do you cook them? How can you cook turnips? You can cook them the same way you cook a beet, my dear. Just, I know I'm not cooking this. You can cook them raw. You can do them steamed. Or I would actually, I have a recipe in the cookbook for oven roasted turnips um, that are delicious. And I put like crunchy nuts on them. It's fantastic. Michael Jackson time. <laughs> right? I don't want to slice off my fingers. Daddy likes all of his fingers. This is a Cut resistant glove. Ruth I, Gunn asks, what are the dollar signs for? The dollar super sign. Chat. Oh, uh, the super chat. Yeah, if you want to support and donate the channel and have your uh, comment highlighted, you can just donate money. But another great way is by buying the cookbook. Yeah, the best way to support the channel is buying the cookbook. Going on Amazon, searching Flav City. I should probably have the book in the background. Yeah, you should. You right? know it. I mean, guys, I only found out Last week, it's going to be in select Costco's starting in November, including the one in Chicago. <laughs> right? And if it does well on the trial run, it's going to be nationwide. So go on Amazon, search Flav City, and have it come up. And I said earlier, if you have already bought the book, thank you so much. Please take a minute to leave a review. Amazon really likes reviews. And if you'd be so kind, after you leave the written review, you can make a video review. Like, just flip through the pages and be like, oh, it's so beautiful. Because Amazon really likes video reviews too, and it helps like their search algorithm or something. Be kind, rewind. Oh, say again? I said, be kind, rewind. So this is why I like it. And then I'll just rub my knife through it once. And it's crispy, it's a little bitter. Um, it's very good for you. Be Kenny Texas in the house again. Nice. Christine. We know that person, no? Yeah, she's on here all the time. Nice. Where's McKinney in relation to Dallas or it's Austin? North of Dallas. North it's, of Dallas. Oh, just outside Dallas. You guys, by far the tastiest. Go ahead, Jennifer. What's the question? Apple in the history of apples is the organic honey crisp apples from Trader Joe's. They're a dollar thirty nine a piece, but they're very big. You guys, they're sweet. They're floral and have this perfume essence to them. That is, oh. whoa, Violet Rodriguez. <laughs> Same time you dropped that, she dropped a $1.99 super chat our way. Thank you for your That's actually why I dropped it. Thank you so much. I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, whoa, Violet, thank you. Get the Honeycrisp organic apples from uh, Trader Joe's. And you want to buy organic because apples fall on the list of the dirty dozen. You want to eat organic apples, whereas like avocados, bananas, maybe not as important. So I'm going to peel this. I'm just going to use some of Do you ever it. get the honey crisps from Costco? They seem to have those like as a... I've thing. never seen them there. Oh, really? Yeah. I probably I, should. I forgot how much it is. It's like yeah. a set of like eight of them. Really? A set? A set, yeah. <laughs> Apple set. <laughs> I should because we crush these. Dusty and I like to have one of these, usually for dessert, with some almond butter or some peely nut butter. I know it's not your traditional dessert, but we love it. So I'll just use some of this now. Is Trader Joe a preference over sprouts? Well, we don't have sprouts. We don't have here, sprouts. So Otherwise, I would. Yeah. Now, yes. So and I like doing it like this because it's not really that nice to have a huge chunk of apple in a salad. But if I just run my 
you know, run it through the uh, grater there, the hand grater. You get nice little shards here, and we should probably sprinkle some lemon juice over that, right, Art? So Jennifer is asking, Bobby's so knowledgeable, what is his background? How did he get here? My health is so much better because of him and Thomas. Thank you. I love to hear that. So I've been getting that question a lot lately because people think I have a food science background. You guys, I'm just like you, right? I'm a home cook a and I've man. always cared. I'm a caveman. I'm just a caveman. And I care about what goes in my body. I always have. So that led me to start really researching what ingredients are in the foods we buy every day. And I've been knowing this for years. And when I first started sharing this information with you guys on YouTube, the first video Art and I did at Costco went viral. And I didn't understand it until we started making the videos. A lot of people don't understand how to shop. And that's something that I've always known how to do. And I've really stepped it up ever since we've been making these videos and I've helped myself become a better shopper. So yes, I taught myself to cook. I taught myself to shop. The information is out there. That's the beautiful thing about the society we live in now. Have you figured out why Trader Joe's is much more militant than other stores like Whole Foods, Aldi, et cetera, about you guys filming there? What do you think about that, Art? They just have a policy and they're a small store and so many people on deck. I mean, yeah. they're just everywhere. I think it's all about the numbers there, right? Yeah. I think their policy is the same as everyone else, but they just have so many people working in such a small area. Um, Christine and... Uh, McKinney says, where can I send y'all a before and after pic of me and my special ability son, Chase, with keto? Mm. Bobby at FlavCity.com. Send that over, please. We'd love to see that. Do you have any information of how food or specifically the ingredients affects skin? That's from Miriam. Um, that's not really my specialty, but they, it does. There's 100%. Desi, what kind of foods do you think are like better for the skin? So Desi says anything with pesticides, like conventional produce, will affect your skin, which is why we might film a video tomorrow about the produce section, the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. Because that's a toxin. Because it's a toxin. Show up through the skin. Yeah, toxins show up through the skin. So I would say when it comes to the Dirty Dozen, you have to eat organic. And um, you know, if you ever notice a correlation between your skin and a certain food after you eat it, stay away from it. Yeah, sugar is bad because sugar can feed like candida and stuff in your body. Also, sugar kills the good stuff bacteria you have. And uh oh, somebody says your mic is off. Oh crap! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. My apologies. That you didn't. Yeah, no, people can't see uh, the type on. of. Hang on, Bobby's mic should be coming up again soon here. Am I good to go? Am I good to go? Okay, it's not, we don't have the best rig here, and unfortunately, it's right where my finger goes and it held the button off. Yeah, Bobby, so I'll, you should be back now. I was saying that sugar um, is not bad, it's not just bad for your skin, it also kills the good gut bacteria you have and it feeds the bad one. In addition to obesity, heart disease, sugar is the devil. I always say it, Rose. I say El Diablo. Blake, art saves a day and art ruins a day because that was all my fault. That was a cutie. Look at this face. All right, look at this face. Come here. Look at this face. Huh? Huh? Well, Rosie. you got four Canadian dollar super chat here. Keep up we the got awesome a super chat. Adam Helmansor. Thank you, Adam. We Thank got you, a Adam. super chat from Canada. From the Great White North. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, smile. Our friends from Canada. How sweet are they, huh? They're sweeter than Canadian maple syrup. Mm. Thank you. Oh, I love you so much. Mm. That's all I do all day, you guys. All day. I cannot get enough. Barbara wants some info on your hand slicer. Yes. Um... Barb's microplane. It's a microplane, um, what's it called? A hand uh, slicer mandolin? or a mandolin. Microplane mandolin. I wonder if they call it a handolin. <laughs> they should. So, um, pecans, Actually, right? Pecans. Any more suggestions for additions to the salad? We have <laughs> sweetness in the form of salad. We have crunch now. What else? Kathy says, is Art eating a tombstone pizza with a Coke behind the scenes? Oh. He wishes he was. Today. He okay. wishes he was. Huh. <laughs> I wish that today. Art always says, what's on your tombstone? What's in your wallet? So a little bit of crunch. Any more recommendations here? Pumpkin seeds. Blake. Oh. Blake says, pumpkin seeds. That's not a bad idea. Let's do it, Blake. We'll do a duo. So we'll do pecans. And then he also says, Brussels sprouts through the microplane. Yes, you can do Brussels sprouts through the microplane. Remember the Costco video? These are the sprouted pumpkin seeds, sprouted 
Seeds are better for you because your body gets more nutrition. They're easier on your tummy. And if you remember the immune system video, high in zinc. Zinc keeps you strong like bull all winter long. It fights off any colds. Forget about coldies and um, that other stuff. Get pumpkin seeds. Uh, Michael Williams says, hit the like button or Bobby will make you eat natural flavors. <laughs> and then Nada suggests raisins in the salad. I was thinking about that, Nada. We have, you know what, let's do it. I love, this is, guys, high five, right? This is the best crowdsourced salad in the history And then Morgan has a question. She asks, are you talking white sugar? What about sugar from maple sugar? No, we're talking purely about white refined sugar. Natural sweeteners like maple, like sorghum, Stuff like that is 100% fine, right? It's a lower glycemic sweetener, still eat it in moderation. Same thing with monk fruit. Eat it in moderation. Too much still isn't good for you. But oh yeah, wet coconut sugar, way better. White refined sugar. El Diablo, right? Pass. Christine wants blue cheese, please. We don't do blue cheese here. Um, I don't mind some blue cheese as is, but Desi doesn't like it. And we don't tend to eat that kind of dairy in the house. We eat more aged cheeses because they're lower in lactose. All right, you guys, this is done. I'm preheating my pan for the salmon. If you're just joining, the salmon is in the fridge. Oh, it's Christine been there. Has a, Christine for, has a look of horror on her face <laughs> after that comment. It's been I'm with you. skin side up on the plate, drying, air drying. Because Art, once again, for our friends who missed it earlier, why do you store it in the fridge skin side up? You want to draw the moisture out of that salmon skin. You don't want moisture in the skin. Exactly. it's going to inhibit it from getting crispy. And crispy is what we want. And well said. what we'll get. Well said, Art. So honey mustard. We need honey. We need mayo. We need stone ground mustard, lemon juice, salt, pepper. You know, ooh, let's put some horseradish in there too, you guys. That's going to be good. Katie Benson says, okay, we'll then put Parmesan cheese then. Oh, yeah, you know, Katie. You're my girl, Katie. Actually, Ray, you're... Raylan has a good question or suggestion goat cheese do you what do you think about goat cheese he says you don't like blue cheese what about goat um i like it better somebody also said feta um i like that too it's still not quite aged enough Dusty and i have a little sensitive tummies with dairy but i love the idea see if we shave Hello some from japan by the way oh we'll do a little bit of shaved pecorino romano cheese oh this is nice timing Right? Art convinced me to get the big block from Costco because it's didn't how much take, per pound? Didn't take a lot of convincing. Five ninety nine. That's all the convincing. Right? For nine month aged. Doctor so, Berg says iron is bad. What do you think? He says iron is bad. That's what I'm reading. Uh, I have to look into that. I'm not too sure about that one. He's a very you wise. Iron man. in your blood. Oh, iron or ca or cast iron. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I'm just reading what it, what it said. It said iron. All right, so guys, before we started, I put a couple of squashes in here. A uh, acorn. Come over here, Art. Right. And another one. And I brushed it with maple syrup, cayenne pepper, and smoked paprika. And I've been roasting it here. And look at this. You can see in the yeah, cavity. I don't melt the cord here. Yes. In the cavity is the maple syrup, and the juices are coming to the surface. So this is almost done. It needs to be knife tender, but still have a touch of resistance. That's right, Tom. This is just a little too hard. So I'm gonna like, cook that another 10 minutes, put the broiler on, and almost creme brulee the topping. It's unbelievable. It's very fall and very autumnal. So people are chiming in to say that Dr. Berg said too much iron is bad, and then somebody uh, said too much of anything is bad, which I was gonna say exactly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But like people like Desi, she was actually iron deficient um, even before she got pregnant, and then she had to up it to make sure the baby wasn't uh, iron deficient. So. Yeah, women are, are tend to be iron deficient because of uh, shedding blood every month. There you go. Women tend to be iron deficient because they have their periods and they shed blood every month. Okay. Blake Keaton says $10 if Desi makes an appearance. Wow. <laughs> She's worth a lot more than that, Blake. You gotta. How about a thousand and I'll try? A <laughs> uh, thousand, Blake, that's what she says. <laughs> That's funny. We're here to negotiate. Negotiations, Let's make Jerry. A deal. Negotiations. We're negotiating. <laughs> you held out for less. Show me the money. <laughs> Show me the money, she says. She's not mic'd up, so I'll pass that along. <laughs> okay, so obviously I'm going to address it last minute, but let's talk about starting to get the salmon in the pan and let's talk about making this honey mustard dressing. So, a little bit of honey from Austin, 
a little bit, excuse me, my love, a little yeah, bit of maple going, syrup. Oh yeah, maple, okay. You're doing both? Both, why not? Okay. With honey nice. mustard, you gotta have some honey. Yeah. Mustard will be Dijon, but it's the stone ground one that has the seeds. A little bit of avocado oil mayonnaise, a little bit of uh, horseradish. And we talked earlier about the umame boosters, right? Please. Umame boosters come in the form of toasted sesame oil, and tamari soy sauce. Blake says, Jesse's a pricey lady if it's a thousand. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know, Blake. So even though these are Asian flavors, tamari and toasted sesame oil, they're umame boosters. It adds flavor. Umame is the uh, Japanese word for delicious, and it's so good. So let's add. Rhonda Felton with a $2 super chat. Thank oh, so Rhonda. Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda, my sweet dear. Let's add the avocado oil mayonnaise here. How long do you uh, keep that in your fridge? That's not a question, that was another question. Which one? The mayo. Oh, this has been in here for a month. Yeah. I should start making my own. I may have the video about it, but sometimes you get lazy. And if you're gonna buy the avocado oil mayonnaise, this with Chosen Foods or Primal Kitchen's great, but I heard now that some Costco's are carrying the Sir Kensington one without the sugar, which would be a total game changer. So we'll do that. Now, Art, look at this. This is why I love stone ground mustard. I get it from Trader Joe's because it has the yellow and the brown mustard seeds in there, right? And that adds crunch. And I just think it's much classier than like yellow crunch. mustard or something. All right? then we'll add a little bit of good quality prepared horseradish from Bubby. Tom Dalton just got that mayo on Monday. Good man. Some Costco's actually have chosen foods and or Primal Kitchen. And that's the most amazing deal ever. I wish mine had it. Hey, raise your hand, Rose. <laughs> Did you just toot? <laughs> raise your hand if your Costco has the um, ghee. I heard some of them are starting to get the grass-fed tub of ghee from Carrington Farms, and I would love to see that at my Costco. A little bit of unrefined Redmond sea salt here. Robbie Briggs cannot find Rouse at his Costco. Are you serious, dude? You have no Rayos? Oh, there's another brand called Victoria's Organic. The ingredients are pretty much as clean as uh, Rayos, but for me, hands down, Rayos is the best. Natalie Davis said, I tried eating avocado mayo and I hate the test. Mm. I, even taste. I think it was the one you got because there's avocado oil has no flavor, just like canola oil. So maybe you got a bad one, my dear. A little bit. What are you sucking on there, huh? Huh? Are you eating dinner already? Is there a difference between tamari and soy sauce? Yeah, so tamari is gluten-free soy sauce. And I love it because even though it's technically not paleo, it's a fermented soybean that has umame. A lot of people in the paleo community will use um, coconut aminos, and it doesn't have that salty umame that I love. So I would, I just pass on it. I pass on grass, and I pass on co most coconut aminos. Taylor had a question. Is the omegas good in the salmon? I remember it being talked about in the podcast. Oh yeah, so that's great because it's the omega ratio you want. It's high in omega-3 and lower in omega-6s. If you get stuff like tilapia and corn-fed beef, it's higher in omega-6s, which is what you don't want. Taylor, the tomatoes from Volcanic Ash are from San Marzano. And your actual brand, do you have a can here? Because he was listening to the here. Mm. Listen to the podcast. And um, I couldn't see. I no, I think I opened it recently. Okay. I can't remember the actual name of the one at Costco, but it's the only one they have. Maria something. I don't know, but it's 128 ounces for three dollars and eighty cents. It's the most insane deal, the likes of which no one's ever seen. All right, the salmon that Bobby bought from uh, Costco. Oh wait, oh Ooh. no, question: Are the farm-raised salmon from Costco okay? I need to do more research, but my initial thinking is yes, because it's from Norway. And Norway has some of the best farm salmon in the world. It's responsibly farmed. It's not overcrowded. I know that Whole Foods has a uh, proprietary food that they give to their farm raised. No one else has. Are you serious? Yeah, I can send you the link. I was reading an article. Really? Yeah. So, yeah, I think she needs a diaper change. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I heard, I heard something. It sounded pretty juicy. I heard, I heard some things. It sounded pretty juicy. Mmm, Desi, try this. Hold on. Try this. Do you want to come on or no? Come on, come on, everyone. Everyone say Whoa, hi. Oh, here comes a thousand. See the no, lovely and talented Desi. Thousand dollar super chat didn't happen. For the first time ever, I made come a on, honey Blake. mustard dressing. I need your input on seasoning, please. Mmm. 
That's good. It's a little on the Please sweeter side, I feel like. Okay, so I'm gonna add, well, I'll add some lemon juice. I forgot to add yeah. lemon juice. That is so good. Oh yeah, so see? Wow, delicious, Ben. Delicious, and I love the uh, stone ground mm. mustard, right? Taylor yeah. couldn't hear the toot because Rose talent. isn't mic'd up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Might need to put a mic on Rose so that the toots come through. <laughs> yeah, no, trust me, you didn't want to hear that. It was pretty juicy. <laughs> so a little bit of acid. See, Desi's got that keen taste here. That's what I'm talking about. You'll be Neo in the kitchen. Once you cook long enough, once you get a book like this that guides Blake you through Keaton, flavors. Blake for Desi. Ah, Blake. Oh, He's a man of his words. Generous. That's a man of, that'll Thank buy you. me a dozen and a half pasture raised eggs. Thank you, Blake. You're a sweetheart. Just like you are a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Everyone's saying hello to Desi, by the way. So everything Hi, always everyone. needs a little bit of acid. It can't just be sweet. Hi, I'll bring it. Sure. Okay, so we'll mix that up and then one more tasting with the clean side of the spoon. A little more lemon juice. And then it's time to cook the salmon, you guys. Too much information. <laughs> hey, I'm always baby. TMI. It's a baby. That's what they do. If you ever, ever have a secret, don't tell me, because I, I can't keep them. Just like uh, Elaine on Seinfeld. It's in the vault. It's in the vault. Nothing's in my vault. What is Desi's favorite food? That's the question. I don't even know, to be honest. Really? We've only been married for nine years. Okay, fantastic. Guys, that salad is gonna be bomb.com. In the meantime, my preheated nonstick pan is gonna get cranked up to medium high. If you're just joining, here's the star of the show. We made the fall-inspired kale crumb salad. This is the star. It's Norwegian farm-raised salmon from Whole Foods. I love the price, you guys. It's always $9.99. And the way you get skin crispy is by storing it skin side up in the fridge. Be my finger right now. So Debbie, Raylene, Sahar, and Aura. Be my finger and touch the skin, right? You'll feel it's pretty dry. Touch it, feel it, love <laughs> it. Right, it's pretty dry. I actually want to touch myself. make sure and pat it dry because this is how you make really crispy skin salmon. Now guys, real quick, what should we cook the salmon in the pan? Should I use avocado oil or should I use ghee? What do you think? You guys let me know. I need the first five comments. I'm going to take the poll of. You got to do first it really. First five? Okay, I'll keep it. First five. Ghee, one. Ghee, ghee two. two. Oil. Ghee. Two oil. Two. Three to one. Ghee. Ghee wins. Woo, ghee wins. That was close. Gee whiz. <laughs> so, yeah. Ghee by a landslide. Got my favorite organic grass fed ghee, OM ghee from uh, Thrive Market. And the polling is close. Polling's close, folks. I'm sorry. It was a flash, a flash poll. Right? So put that in there. Whoa. Should I come over there? Not yet. Not quite yet, Artharion. And I eat this stuff like it's icing. It's so good. I made uh, heirloom popcorn with heirloom kernels that Desi's mom sent from Bulgaria. And I doused it in copious amounts of ghee and Redmond real salt. It was so good. So good. I know it's not paleo, but Ooh. you know, why not? Okay, I, you guys, literally, I know the salmon's gonna be good. I made it a million times. I'm literally so excited right now. Where does this go? For the uh, salad. This salad that we crowdsourced together is so exciting. So, now Art, you may come back here. Go away, go this way. And I want this, see I want it to be hot, but I don't want it to be smoking. We're not searing a steak here. And if your pan is actually too hot, you will burn the skin, so. Swirl your butter around, and I'm only salting this art right before it goes in the pan because what would happen, Art, if I salted it two minutes before I went in the pan? I'm gonna draw some water out. Exactly. We just worked so hard in the fridge, you guys. It was exhausting. It was exhausting, right? I schwitzed to get this dry. So I don't want to put Something's salt on done. too early. That's right, the uh, squash. We tilt the fat away so you don't splatter. And then what I like to do is as soon as this fish goes down, Number one, I season the second side with my clean finger. But number two, I push down on the skin, on the flesh, for a couple seconds, just so it makes maximum contact with the pan, because I'm really trying to get that skin literally crisp tasted. And you don't then- You have any of these burners on, right? Over nope. Here. Okay, good. I'm gonna use this. Oh, thanks. Sorry, Art. Tell him why I'm using the splatter guard, Art. He probably doesn't like to clean up if he I don't like to clean up. I mean, Art and I end up cleaning up anyway, but we want to make our life a little easier. Now, the timer is going off, which tells me what should be checked, Art. 
something that you put the timer on. Something I put the timer on. Art is so good. So vague. Acorn squash. Desi has been crushing acorn squash like a boss. It is so folly, right? And so what I do is I take acorn squash and I brush it with maple syrup, salt, cayenne pepper and smoked paprika. You can put cumin, you can put curry powder, anything you want, turmeric, right? And I roast it at 400 degrees for almost an hour. And when my knife goes in and out with ease, but still has a little give, I know it's ready. But see this, this is the juices from the actual squash mingling, interloping with the maple syrup. So now I'm gonna put that back in and I'm gonna put the broiler on just to get it what I call savory creme brulee. So 500 degrees, broil, and I'll set a timer there. Someone remind me just in case, remind me to check that in three minutes, someone. I would very much appreciate it. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, we're talking, we're hanging out, but crush that salad, right? Throw some salmon in a pan, chuck that in the oven an hour ahead of time. You guys, this is a dinner that is so healthy, so complete, so paleo. It is so exciting to eat food like this that it, it's feel good food and you don't feel like you're sacrificing flavor. And I know this is not in the book, but in the book I have an amazing kale salad. I have this actual salmon recipe. I have a keto brown sugar glazed salmon recipe and 125 more that are fantastic that most importantly, don't make you feel like you're sacrificing flavor just cause you're on the keto diet. So once again, no matter where you live in the world, search Flav City on Amazon, it will pop up and keep leaving reviews if you already bought it because 620 people leaving five-star reviews is something I never expected. And Costco, baby, November, we're getting that Costco trial run, mostly Chicago, Oregon, Washington. And if it goes well, nationwide Costco. Blake, I would say uh, Twizzlers, regular Twizzlers <laughs> or a uh, Costco trail mix are my unhealthy treats. They're like my vice. Uh, Shaziz. Shazida Razak says, any sugar substitute without gastrointestinal side effects? Um, well, yeah, of course. So we just talked earlier about avoiding sugar. So what you need to do, my friend, is watch my sweetener video, which I want to make a follow-up video to that on YouTube. But without gastrointestinal issues, maple syrup, right? I think that's a good one. Uh, probably even better would be sorghum or... Yeah, I don't know, Stevie, if you have a uh, gastro, yeah. Um, so I'd say sorghum, I'd say date syrup or date sugar and maple syrup or coconut sugar. Coconut sugar would be great for you. It's best to just, if you have gastrointestinal, cut out all. Yeah, you really have to cut out all sugar if you have GI issues, which is, I wonder if that's the check case. Then the if oven, you somebody says. So again, check it already? Check the oven. Oh, wow. It's been two minutes. Bertha said that. Oh, thank you. Uh, another two minutes, friends. Another two minutes. Thank you. This is why I like cooking with you guys. We just made up this amazing salad recipe together. Let's shave some cheese. And cleanup is gonna be minimal. I know Art and I are pretty happy about that. I wanna do more research about like diets for people with autoimmune protocol and uh, sensitive GI issues because I feel like we gotta hook you guys up because just because you have those issues doesn't mean we need to sacrifice too much, to be honest. Oh, some avocado. I don't even think we need avocado for the salad, do we? No. What's the point? Somebody said it earlier. Yeah, I just feel like it's overkill. I mean, this is, guys, <laughs> if you missed it earlier, we have kale. We have raisins, pecans, sunflower seeds. We have apples. We have celery. We have olives. We have a honey mustard dressing that is so bomb. I think we should open this pecorino and just kind of shave that. Brad said, is the sun really still shining there? <laughs> yes. We can control the sun. I just like the movie with uh, Jim Carrey. Uh... What's that movie where he lives in the, uh, the TV show? Don't ask Art. He doesn't know. Is that a quiz show? No. Oh. Uh, what the heck's the name? Someone will tell me. All right, let's cut this open. And then keep your eye on the salmon skin, too. Bruce Almighty. Thank you, Bruce Almighty, yes. Didn't see it. Check the squash. <laughs> Check the squash, okay, a lot of things going on here. Somebody else said Truman Show. Was it Truman Show or Almighty? Oh, you're right, it was Truman Show. It wasn't Bruce there, Almighty. A lot of people are saying Truman Show. Thank Check you, Check the guys. squash, all caps. Oh, wow, guys, check it out. All right, come here, this is exciting. This is where it comes on the cusp of burnt I can smell it. and perfection. So check it out. I don't want to melt the iPhone, but. Yeah, 
I mean, look what's it's going your on. Phone, so it's not mine. <laughs> no, we don't want to melt the iPhone. Yeah. So oh, it's really hot. Wow. So see that? Like that's exciting to me. I think that needs like 30 more seconds. Let's just rotate the pan. I'll stay here for 30 seconds. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. Like very, very, very dangerous too. Do not let that maple syrup touch you or you're gonna burn your hand. I'm just gonna close the door for a second. Art, let's pan up here for a sec. Let's check the skin here. So, I wish they made this for lefties. This thing is so brutal to use. See, that's people, lovely. People are still talking about the sun. Like, <laughs> really still be up. So like he's in Chicago. There's no way the sun's still up there. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Hot. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, come on, go down there. That's it real good. Yep. There we go. Now, as soon as you flip these over, they make these spatulas for righties, right? Lower the heat to medium or low, so it gently cooks through. In the meantime, Art, evacuate the dance floor here. This is perfect. I'm gonna put it right here so Art can get the money shot. Look at that, you guys. Money shot. I mean, that is so gorgeous. Give that, to, give that to your kid. It's a great way to get them to eat vegetables because it's sweet, but not overly sweet. And what I was saying here is, when you turn it to the fleshy side like this, you have to lower the heat to medium low because the medium high heat is too high for the flesh. It can't handle it, it's gonna burn. But Art, come here. You're all these, sorry, I've never ate salmon. Do you eat the skin? Yes, so a lot of people ask that actually. The skin is the best part, it's the most nutritious part. If you could be my finger again, so like Char, be my finger, that's crispy, right? Nice and golden brown. The omega-3 fatty acids are mostly located in the skin. And when you make skin crispy like this, it makes it a joy to eat. If it's loose and flimsy, blarf, right? Nobody wants to eat that, it's gross. So why don't we, Art, cut open this Pecorino Romano. So I often buy Pecorino because it's a sheep's milk cheese from Rome, but it's cheaper than Parmigiano. And I think I like it almost the same, if not better, to be I'm honest. I'm going to put you in a timeout if you say that again. Ha <laughs> because Art says that Parmesan cheese Parmigiano is not only Reggiano. the king of cheeses. The cheese of kings. The cheese of kings, folks. Don't you consider yourself as king? So what I do here, I just, royalty, man. I just take a veggie peeler and I get nice, thin. I wish you guys can taste it. It's just so salty and nutty. Get over here. There you go. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just no. saying I'd rather have I mean, I agree. Out. If I had to choose one, I'm just saying this is a more... Just budget friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, don't spray it, Bob. <laughs> Say it, don't spray it. Like that to me, I can eat this all day long. Here, like Christy and Jerry and Katie, open wide, right? That's just so salty. <laughs> mm. I love it. But yeah, I mean, I understand what Art's saying. Like a nice aged, what, what month aged? Parmesan, do you prefer art? However old it has to be to get all those nice crystals on the inside. So I'm thinking How old was it. the one we saw at Costco was, where you're like, they yeah. had They had three year and they had uh, like what, 16 month or 24 month. Even the three year, you're like, eh, I'd like to see more crystals. Yeah, I've seen, well, but still though, for the money. It's pretty buy, good. But. Yeah, for Costco, it's pretty darn good. If you're going to buy stuff like that, the cheese selection actually at Costco is fantastic. They don't really have too many organic, but if you buy the Kerrygold Dubliner, it is grass-fed 80% of the year, and that's not too bad. Alan Girl says the answer is 24 months. 24 months? That's what she says. Is the ideal aging? Okay, now, Art, come over here for a sec. I like my fish. How do you guys like your salmon? Medium rare, medium well done? I Crystals like it. are the bomb, Christine. I like it roughly medium rare to medium. So what I do, just to make sure it's cooked a little bit on the side, is I flip it like this. It's a real good. Flip it real good. And I turn the heat down even more because look, look right here. Art. A little bit too. This yeah. is a little raw here, right? 30 seconds on each side. We'll cook it, but not 100% of the way through. And when you buy good quality Norwegian farm salmon, it gives you a little more leeway because it's very fatty. So I like cooking with that because it's harder to overcook. When you cook with wild like coho salmon or um, um, any other one of those like ones from Alaska, they tend to be meatier and denser. If you get king salmon, it's very fatty and delicious. But also it's really hard expensive. to cook that one. It's also expensive. Oh, king salmon's 30 bucks a pound. That's rich man food, man. I can't afford that. That's ridiculous. Kings might eat that with their Parmigiano. True. Now, Art, what's really interesting about this is as it cools down, the pool of delicious maple syrup 
reabsorbs back in to this. I'm telling you guys, fantastic. Now what actually I would do. Where did it go? I would take a little bit of my reserved lemon here. I would take the zest art and just ever so gently put it on here. Cause think about it. Acorn squash is a little sweet. Maple syrup is sweet. So we need a touch of acid. And I normally don't do this, but I have a lemon ready. It'll just add just the right amount of acid to cut through the richness. Ellen girl, the carry gold is not 100% grass fed. Tell them what Irish, it is, Art. Irish dairy laws allow them to call it grass fed if it's 80% of the year aged right. or eat, fed uh, grass. What they do they have, do they the other 20? They have to give it some supplemental during, because of the seasons there. Exactly, well said, Art. We're cool with that. But still, it's way better than 100% GMO grain fed uh, cattle you can or dairy. You can use both ghee and avocado oil if you want. So Art, right, look what happens here too. When I flip it like this, Look at the, the flesh side. It did get a little bit of caramelization and color, and that's what you want. So I actually have a video on YouTube, how to cook fish, salmon three ways, and this is one of the ways, and I'm telling you, if you think you don't like salmon, try it this way, because you get that crispy skin, and the flesh is just meaty and delicious. So this is done. I'm gonna bring it out in a second. We'll rest it, we'll toss our salad. Here's a question for you guys. So I have a big bowl of salad here, and I have my dressing that is perfectly seasoned. Be honest, would you add salt and pepper to the bowl of um, mixture of vegetables and greens first? Or would you not do that because my dressing is uh, perfectly seasoned? What would you guys do? Leave your answer in the comments and I'll tell you if you're wrong, if you're right, and why. Hey, for whoever asked, this yes. tool over here is a microplane. It's available on Amazon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. I have a whole bouquet of them. Now, Art, when I'm taking these out, Notice how I'm putting them skin side up because if you put them down, they're gonna sog. So it's not a lot of work, but you always wanna think about preserving that skin. Now, what are y'all saying in the comments? You're saying, no, no, use dressing only. Do not add, pass on the salt and pepper. No, 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 just add dressing. Yes, no, because each person's choice. So very interesting. Number one, you have pecorino, which is salty. Number two, your dressing is already seasoned. So. This is a very, very interesting answer because most of you guys, in my opinion, got it wrong. Now listen, if you're limiting your salt, you don't have to, but always season at every step of the cooking process, right? And I find a lot of home cooks don't season their salad before adding the dressing. I learned this years ago from Bobby Flay on the Food Network, actually. And just because your salad dressing is perfectly seasoned doesn't mean your greens are. This is a big, bland bowl of veggies. Yes, the pecorino salty, but I'll just add a little bit of unrefined sea salt. We're talking about a pinch, you guys. A little bit of black pepper and that's it. And trust me, that little love, that little seasoning goes a long you way. You like it the pepper? You like it the pepper? I like it the pepper. The pepper. <laughs> so now we dress our salad art. Come on in for the dressing camp. We got any dressing music back there? And I like to throw my dressing towards the outside of the bowl so I can toss it into it. And remember, I could always add more later on. If I overdo it now. Thank you, Kathy. Nice SNL callback. <laughs> We're Where, full of those. Where's That's James? Where's James Finley? I don't know. Finley ain't here. And then I toss it into it. There's nothing I really hate more than a soggy overdressed salad. It's gross, you guys. I think this, you guys, we got to do a video about this dressing or something because the honey mustard is the boss. So now I'm mixing it up. Should we add more or do you think that's perfect? What do you guys think? Top, top five answers. More or it's good? Yes, no pepper boy. Hmm. Char know. likes it. Uh, Sad, no. I still say no. Good. More. Mm. More. More everything. It's good. Oh, they good. said it's good. Okay. So yeah. I think people think good. I think it looks pretty good. I but think it looks good. Let me just check it for for seasoning. Oh, it's unanimous. Good. Well, actually, it's not unanimous. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great salad, you guys. I would pay top dollar for that at a restaurant. The dressing is exactly what you want from a honey mustard. It is phenomenal. I would actually say, you guys, we could use a little more cheese and or salt. Can always use more cheese. Could always use more cheese. Where's my... More pepper, somebody said. More, Jennifer it, said more pepper. I, 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 could do, I could actually, you know what, let's do a little bit more of everything. A, little more, a touch more salt. There we go, where's my veggie peeler? Do, 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 oh, do, 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 do. Got to use a new one. That one's dirty in the sink now. 
So Christine doesn't like honey mustard, but she's willing to try yours. You know what, Christine? It's not your typical honey mustard. Almost think of it like a creamy mayo with a twang of mustard, but it's not like that yellow nasty mustard you might expect. So it's, the, the real question is, would Newman eat it after eating a vile weed like broccoli? <laughs> question from anybody on the chat board here. It's just me. At the chat board? Well, yeah. <laughs> Comment for it. Is this, is this uh, AOL chat from 2000 or 1998? Dial-up dial noise, the most annoying <laughs> noise in the world. Okay, so salad is done. You guys. Shania Twang. This is Phenom City. Now, we'll just grab a plate here. We'll grab a beautiful piece of squash. Actually, let's... Do you ever use a temp meter in the salmon or do you cook it enough that... I cook it enough where I know. Okay. And I've done it so many times, but if you want to, you could stick a probe thermometer in there and I'd be totally cool. We'll do two pieces of that just because it's Katie Johnson so wants you to please stop offending her mustard. <laughs> All right, come on in here, Adio. We're going to take a big no, old no scoop. No baseball tonight, Blake. The game was rained out. Yeah, it's a bummer. I was looking forward to a little bit of baseball. So a little bit of salad there. Put some crunchy bits on top. Global thermonuclear salmon. And then... A nice piece. Oh, he said twang. I get it. Nice. Of my Ready salmon there. Salmon. And then yeah, you could do a little bit of you know what? I'm gonna do our instead of parsley. Look guys, remember earlier I talked about my reserved parsley? Parts my, on my space. <laughs> my uh, celery. Yeah, just, just chop up the know. celery leaf hearts. I'm telling you, this guy is it is so delicious. Or garnish that on top. You don't even need a sauce. If you wanted to make a sauce for the salmon, you can make a brown butter sauce or something from the pan. But look at this. This is festive fall food that's 100% paleo, keto-ish, minus a squash. But you guys, crispy skin salmon with maple syrup glazed acorn squash and a crowd-sourced fall quinoa crunch salad with a honey mustard Spin the salmon around here. dressing. Done. Let's get the money shot. Nice. Bum, bum, Chopped bum. broccoli, another SNL reference. <laughs> nice, we're on fire tonight. So that's it. I want to take a little bite just so I can explain the flavors here. And then I know Desi's really hungry. So we have a little scoop of this. I'm telling you, this is the kind of food that kids will love with a passion. What's the name of your chef knife? Middleton, I, right? I keep, Middleton. Kate Middleton. Middleton, yeah. Wow, Desi, you're going to love the squash. It is insane in the membrane. I think Desi's really going to like this. It's right, just like Jeffrey. Call me the barefoot count. Hashtag feed art. <laughs> Do you deliver? I should. Mmm. That salad. Wow. Forget about it, you guys. Now, I want to show you our look. If I cut into the middle of my salmon here, just to show you a cross section, right? You got to do a cross section. It's perfectly cooked, you guys. It's not dried out. See that? It's juicy as can be. And then if I just cut a little piece from here, I get the crispy skin. What's your go to drink with this wine? I would go for a. Uh, a rosé, to be honest. All day. Mmm, fantastic. So good. Maybe a little more well done than I normally make it, but that's fantastic. Hey, wait until next weekend. This is a low-carb keto wine from Tuscany. The whole bottle only has three grams of carbs. I worked out a promo code with them, guys. You're going to love it. I have a red, a white, and a rosé. Really cool, small company. So that is it, you guys. Desi is waiting in the wings. Had a great time hanging out. Uh, this weekend, protein powder review, canned food review. Tomorrow, Art and I are gonna film the organic produce video, the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. Maybe another, we're thinking maybe an Aldi video or something like that, but that's it. Hey, what? Brad suggesting to you a drizzle of that honey mustard dressing on the salmon would be fantastic. Would be a great idea. All right, huh? let's try it real quick. Let me just try a little bit, Brad. I think that's a great idea. A twofer, right, Brad? We got a little bit of a dressing and a little bit of sauce. Brad, high five, dude. High mm. five. High five, that's good. It's so good, I'm gonna lick it off the countertop where it fell. Where's the wine from? Somebody asked. Um, it's called Seco Wine Club. Look them up on Instagram. Wait until next week for my promo code. It's um, sometimes organic, 100% chemical free, 100% dry Italian farming, Zero added sugar. Each cup only has 0.28 uh, 
carbs, unbelievable, and it's very, very tasty stuff. That's it, you guys, amazing time. What a day, Art and I have been filming all day. We come home, we make the stream, last minute notice, had a great time. Rose is literally passed out over there. Desi's like, feed me. Let me try some, um, Sam. There's been a hashtag feed on Oh, okay, Art, Art has to try, yeah, I'm sorry. Art has to try. Otherwise, got the long leash here. The folks will be upset. Everyone say to hi to the clean cut, fresh haircut, Art. Hello. Wow, Art looks like he's a high schooler now. Really? Wow. If I get the skin here. Hello, Amira. Nice to see you, my girl. I did talk about heavy metals a little bit, my friend. I did. Crispy skin salmon for the win. That's right. It's crispy, isn't it? It is. And a little bit of this. Yeah, I got corn squash. Upstairs. Forget about it. Buy squash, you guys. This is the season. Mm. Art retired the Cubs shirt for the off season. People are saying. Uh, they may make an appearance here and there. Art looks like he's going for a computer science degree at Stanford. Signing up for the military next. I never knew they had a look. <laughs> to computer science. Be Am, am that, I a nerd or a yeah, geek? Or what yeah, I don't think it's computer science. Handsome, says Christine. Okay, thank you. Exactly, exactly. You guys, everyone who said it's awesome, I'm telling you, it is awesome. That's right. People know it's awesome. They're just looking at it. Right? Exactly, exactly. So you guys, let's do the... There we go. Stay over there. That's it, you guys. Awesome time hanging out with y'all. Um, we'll see you next week. Or actually, next week I won't have a live stream because I'm, I'm going to L.A. to do the uh, videos with Thomas DeLauer, but... Uh, Plenty, plenty more. Flav City, you'll never get tired of us. <laughs> Looks like he can coach the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he kind of does look Steve Curry, yeah. right? A little bit. I can see that. Uh, we will see you very soon. But Art, I, Desi, and Rose will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Thanks for hanging out. We had a grand old time as always.